Okay, nice to meet you. Hello, okay, thank nice you. Nice to see you. So let's talk about your new album, mm -hmm. which you released this year. And so um, what was your inspiration for this one? Well, this album, it's called Shadows. It's a lullaby album, really, for adults or for, for everybody, not just children. But I was inspired by um, the fact that I was pregnant and then I had a little baby and I felt like I really needed some lullabies. <laughs> and I just also, I was writing these songs that were very reflective and quite quiet and really thinking about um, my life and memories and hopes and dreams. It's very dreamy. It's really, it's kind of an album for dreaming. Okay, besides the fact that you wrote much lullabies on something, which is the biggest difference between this album and the former albums? It's kind of a bit more indie sounding because the first two albums I made on a major label and then this one I made independently so I had no rules, you know, I was basically could do whatever I wanted so I was I returned to my indie roots a little bit. I used to be in a band, um, Dakota Ring in Australia and it was sort of an ambient electro outfit so I kind of returned a little bit to that, like a weirder style of songwriting maybe. Okay, um, you just said that you returned to your roots or your independent roots. What is the biggest point about making music and which influences you most? Well, I think music is about communication and soothing yourself, myself, and me soothing my listener. And I personally use music to make myself feel better. Mm -hmm. And so I try to make music to make other people feel better. Um, some of my music is more poppy and I, I love pop music myself, but my definition of pop is just something that is accessible, like a song that you can sing along to that affects you. It's not too weird to try to um, understand it. So this album is less poppy, but it's still intended to make people feel good. Okay. Um, You're speaking about the songs. Which is the most important fact about writing a song? Um, when you write a song, like it's, it is the melody or the text, so how do you find your ideas? The melody and the words have to go together and there has to be a phrase that is really like perfect the way the words fall with with the rhythm and the melody um, and then I guess it's about just fleshing it out getting a good groove and I like my songs to have a positive message and to make you feel better when you've listened to it at the end of it you should feel like some sort of release okay a positive me uh, message if you could choose a novel or like a book which just describes your music which one would that be gosh the first thing that comes to mind is lolita but that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> no um <laughs> um I guess like Alice in Wonderland. Oh, okay, good. Just the book, uh, the novel, or just also the movie? Mm, I don't know, just the book. Okay. Um, you work together with uh, with Christopher van Dalen, like Schiller. Mm -hmm. So, um, how did that influence your music or your career? Well, I don't know. Perhaps um, it's opened up my fan base a little bit here in Germany. The Schiller fans maybe weren't necessarily Lenka fans mm -hmm. and vice versa. Um, sometimes when people, when I see people in the street, they ask me to sign the Schiller album. Um, I love collaborating like that. And that was a very modern collaboration. We did it over the internet. He sent me the tracks, I wrote something, sent it back. He changed the track to fit the lyrics and it was all done without us even meeting. We met after it was recorded. Um, so I guess that influenced me in teaching me how things can be done in this current era. Yeah. of globalized internet world. Okay, globalized internet world, a very good word. So um, how much does concurrence or competition affect your music or your career? Um, I don't really think about it that much. I feel like I've gotten to a stage where I have a pretty solid fan base and they like me regardless of what's a hit, you know. So I don't feel like, oh no, Katy Perry's got music coming out, I better not release something or anything like that. I feel I feel like there's enough room for all different kinds of artists. And I actually feel camaraderie with other female artists more than anything else. I feel like we all want each other to succeed and we're all so happy that we get to do what we get to do that I've never ever felt somebody be like, 
I hate you because you're successful and I've never felt that against anyone else. Okay, let's stay at this point. So um, in which ways would you say um, there are some points which make would make you stop making music or something or just hesitate? The only thing that sucks about it is the traveling. Like, I love to travel, but it's so relentless. It's just like every day you're in a new place playing a show and you get that one hour on stage where you get to perform and connect with the fans and you maybe get to do a little bit of sightseeing, but mostly you're hanging around in an airport or you're on an airplane or you're in a van or you're in a bus in a different hotel every night away from family and it's so hard like my whole band we're all married and we're all just like constantly trying to Skype with our partners and stay connected to our real world and we just get so disoriented we're like where are we right now what time what day is it where what's going on um, so that's that's the part that I think eventually is you can't do it anymore you know you just you get oh, too old and you're like, uh, I just want to grow vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now you're just touring with your new album and you released it this year, so mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit what comes 2014? Do you have plans? My plan is to just keep writing and making more material, no touring, maybe a tiny bit, but no, not like this year where I'm doing the whole world. Um, be a mummy. Okay. make craft and art and I'm doing more and more writing for film and TV so like I just I wrote a song for a new JJ Abrams show that's coming out mm -hmm. next year and I really want to do more of that that's very exciting to me right now when a director comes to you with a brief and you actually write something specific um, so yeah hopefully I can do a bit more of that okay thank you very much for your thank time you. and have a good concert and a good tour so far Dankeschön. Bitte schön. Tschüss.